everyone. My name is Elsa. I'm six years old. And today we're going to talk about water pollution. Ew. Okay, so now what is water pollution? Water pollution is when harmful, harmful particles, acid or toxic enter the water bodies like such as Ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, um, waterfalls, and, and all the bodies of the water. So now we will see that water is very, very important. Do you know what? Well, you can survive a few weeks without food. But you you just you just can survive you you just can survive one or two or three days without water. Okay, so now you know that water is very important. Now let's explore the two causes of of water pollution the first one natural causes natural causes are volcano eruptions and animal waste and also algae algae blooms yes and 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 um from floods and storms so like like there is a piece of paper in your house then a flood came or a storm came and then the paper it's turned in into small pieces it's it's well and it's oh it's also it is dirty it is wet and it will and it will become trash okay okay so now let's go to to human causes they included sewage they included um pesticides and and fertilizers yes and they were from fra farms the farmers used it okay and, and waste from factories and construction and construction sites okay so now do you know that what are the effects of water pollution? Hmm. Acid rain. Yes. Acid rain can turn lakes acid, resulting in in the death of fish and others. It also it also kills fish and other animals too. Well, oil spills. Oil spills, which generally they happen in the ocean. Okay, and 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 do you know what? A lot of fish die. That the fish, crabs, birds, dolphins, a lot. There are there are some other other creatures too, like coral. Yes. Okay. So now you know that the water is very important. Yes. And and now and now do you know that the water it it can also go to the groundwater and it can enter enter your house. And if you drink it, it will, you will have health problem and hepatitis.
Yes. And now, how can we control water pollution? What can we do? Hmm. Oh, we can plant more and more trees. You need to collect your trash. You need to put it into a bag. Yes, especially when you're at the ocean, the lake, the rivers, streams, well, a lot. And so now, you had know a lot about water pollution, right? But you over you you well you you don't overuse pesticides and and fur fur that, um fertilizer fertilizers yes and you know what that that this is important it's very important you need to turn off the running tap so you could so so you could save water and and cleaning system maybe maybe you could clean you could clean the beach would well, you know that all the cities when sewage were dumped into the beaches and now you have to collect the trash because the well that toxic it can also reach to 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 the the ground of the sea yes to the ground of the ocean and and then then animals animals don't like it they they think their habitat is very bored because they got sick and then they 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 eat well they they got sick they got polluted and then other fish eat them eat them and then the sick too and then die yes so so now so now the rules the rules that the rules the rules i give to you are turn off the running tap if you don't need it and you can you can't you can't you you can't pour harmful particles or medicine or anything in the sink drain or the toilet you cannot do it and and if you throw trash into the trash bin you must you must find the right trash can yes and you plant you plant more and more trees yes you you plant you plant more and more trees for me because a lot of people that had chopped the trees to, to make house by by wood so now so now we need to plant more trees because the airy breeze is very important too okay so now goodbye everyone see you in my next